Hi again. So, the head's been retired. The speakers still work. And, um, well, I have the JSX right here. And, uh, we're going to combine these speakers with that cab. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to wire and use all the existing, pre-existing stuff that I pulled off the head and uh, put it into this thing. So, it's a little input jack. It's gonna be fun. Okay, so here we have the speakers. I need to take that reverb thing out of there at some point. So, what we're gonna do now on the JSX, Zoom in real quick, right there. You have your positive and your negative. And that's going on one side of this. And they are split off into each speaker. However, right here, you're going off your positive into your negative. With this little cable. We're going to do the same exact thing right down here. Go ahead and get this done. I'm going to put that one right here. And we're going to find our other side right here. Just like that. Get one connected to our negative on that side. One connected to our positive on this side. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is not supposed to happen. Whoa. Got to be careful. I did not know that that little bead, that's supposed to be welded or stamped properly, and it wasn't. So these things right here can become loose, so be careful when trying to put that on there. I almost messed up. Now we got to find out which one is the tip. The way we do that, got to have a voltmeter. If you don't have a voltmeter, well, then don't do this. Take it to someone who can. So that's your positive right there. I'm going to go ahead and put this one right here. And I'm going to take this and touch it to the tip. So we're getting somewhat of a reading. I'll put it to there. We're getting a one. We're getting a zero. Now let's see what we get when we put them together. Getting a zero. So positive is tip. That's how you tell. How this is going to be wired now is you're going to find your tip, which is this right here. That's your tip and that's your sleeve. Make sure you're on the positive side. There we go. Then you get your negative side. And I'd rather do it like this instead of solder because if I ever wanted to use this for anything else. All right guys, and now this part. It's an important part. You gotta make sure that everything is ohming out okay. So this right here is these two JSX speakers. I'm going to send one to the tip, one to the sleeve. We're reading at 13.3 and 4. So that right there is almost a resistance of 16 ohms. And yeah, I'll take that. Now, we're going to go ahead and test these bottom ones. Throw this right here so we can see the meter. And what's cool is I'm just going to go ahead and get that, show that in the center, make sure it's not touching anything, and then I'm going to get that to the tip. 13.6, almost the same as the top. And 
Heck yeah, guys. This is totally compatible. Um, both 16, round 16 ohms, round 13. And both can actually handle the input to this. Now, a fun fact about this, these two speakers down here, and the two fender speakers is both of those are 30 watts apiece. And it's really nice because the 120 watts RMS is where we're at. And so at this point we're actually hitting the wattage limit on this. So we're pushing the correct amount of power out of here. One more thing right here. You gotta always make sure that this when you're joining cabs is at 8 ohms not 16 16 is only for just this right here you got to make sure you're at 8 otherwise uh, we don't we don't want to know what happens it's uh, it can't be good but yeah let's see how this sounds now So now we're going to go ahead and do something different. Throw the amp on the standby. And what we're going to do is actually turn the whole thing off. Wait about 30 seconds. We're going to flip this back over to 16. We're going to pull out the actual speakers from the top and leave the speakers in the bottom going. Make sure that everything is correct right there. Now we're going to flip this on. We're going to re-rotate it. Let it warm back up again. So it's on 16, which is what the bottom speaker should be at, the same as the top. So we should get sound out of it. If we don't, then those speakers are 100% dead. Let's see what we get. Throw it back on standby now. We're gonna plug, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to eight. Plug that piece back in, which is these two speakers. Flip this back on. So yeah, I've researched this. I did my homework on this amp. 100% the internals on the amp are wired parallel. So the speakers are wired in a series. And the only way for this amp to be compatible with these speakers is for these speakers to be wired in a series, but in order for it to have an extended pull, like down into these two speakers, I had to wire those into a series as well. So when you get two series wired speakers and you wire them into parallel, it will work with this amp. So yeah, that's all you need to know is make sure that your power rating and your power rating is correct and your ohm rating is correct with the bottom ohm rating. After that, you should be good. You should be set. And uh, lucky enough, I was able to utilize these uh, speakers and uh, make it work. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, uh, comment, subscribe. And uh, have a good one. Thank you.